Despite how prevalent it is, debunking or disproving fake news is usually pretty easy, once our suspicions have been raised. The real challenge lies in learning not to accept everything that looks like news at face value. In this video, we're going to explore a few different ways to verify or discredit things that look like news. Step 1. Is there a date? Can you see a publication or updated date anywhere on the page? A recent date is important to have so we know how current the story is. If the story is old, or if there's no date at all, then we probably shouldn't trust it. Step 2. Do you know the outlet? Have you seen it before, or do you know it by reputation? If you can't answer this question with a definite yes, then we need to do a bit more digging. Does the site have an about page? What happens when you search for the name of the site? Is there a Wikipedia article about it? If you can find reliable, trustworthy information about the site, then we'll keep going. If not, then it's time to ditch the article and find a different source. One easy way to tell if a site is genuine or not is to look at the web address. Be very wary of sites that use reputable brand names, but whose web addresses end in two top-level domains. For example, .com.co or .edu.com. This is known as spoofing and it's widely practiced by fake news outlets. Step 3. Is there an author listed? And what can you find out about them? Authors listed on fake news sites are often not actually real people. Let's have a look at this one. Born at an early age, Jimmy Rustling has found solace and comfort knowing that his humble actions have made this multiverse a better place for every man, woman and child ever known to exist. Dr. Jimmy Rustling has won many awards for excellence in writing, including 14 Peabody Awards and a handful of Pulitzer Prizes. When Jimmys are not being rustled, the kind doctor enjoys being an amazing husband to his beautiful soulmate Anastasia, a Russian mail-order bride of almost two months. Dr. Rustling also spends 12 to 15 hours each day teaching their adopted eight-year-old Syrian refugee daughter how to read and write. Now, this is a completely preposterous bio, and it should definitely be raising some eyebrows. If you're familiar with internet culture, then you might also be aware that having one's jimmies rustled means being upset or disturbed by another person's post or comment. It's pretty clear that Dr. Jimmy Rustling is not a real person and anything with his name on it is going to be fake. Additionally, this photo has been used across a bunch of different fake news sites. Step 4. Can you verify the story? Are other outlets talking about it? Are any claims made in the article backed up with links to external sources? The easiest way to check a story's validity is to copy and paste the headline into Google. If there are a lot of results with similar titles, especially if reputable sources are talking about the same thing from a similar angle, then your source is possibly okay. But few or no results, or lots of results saying the opposite of what your source says, would be a good indicator that your source isn't trustworthy. Likewise, if your source makes claims without providing links back to other sources, it gets a thumbs down. These steps can be used in pretty much any order, or for any source, but the order we've presented it here basically takes you from least effort to verify to most effort. On the next page, there's a flowchart that outlines the process we've gone through here. You can download it, print it out, and pin it up somewhere useful.